Hi, Trisha. This is Michelle. How are you today? This is Thursday, August 10th. Um, so I'm finally getting to how to draw a face. And this is what I've done with lots, like hundreds and hundreds of students and different people in workshops to just kind of jump start them. And they do amazing things with it. So I'm expecting that will be true for you too. Um, I don't think, I was kind of surprised at Rob's response about that because he knows I've done this a lot, but he may have forgotten because <laughs> we haven't worked together in the same place for many years. Um, so, which is sad, but you know, that's sometimes life works out that way that he's so busy and I'm busy. And even though we're both doing the work, um, we haven't been in the same space together. So I'm glad you're giving this a try because it's worked. I could show you many, 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 many people who have done this project and started with this. So what you need first, you can see here, you're gonna need a ruler and a pencil with an eraser. And that's all you, they would need to start. And so you have a blank piece of paper. I give people an eight and a half by 11 piece of white paper to start, to just practice. And they start out by drawing one, two, three, four lines equally spaced down the page. And then they draw a line down the center. Okay, then you go to the oval shaped piece that goes around and you can see that it's narrower down at the bottom. So usually people can see that. I provide um, the participants with their own page like this with directions um, so that they can follow it along themselves. And you're welcome to show them this video if you want. Then once they have the oval drawn, you can see their ABC is drawn. And you can see this is the eyebrows here in red. And then down here is the mouth right there sort of about three-fourths of the way up but then right there on the line is the tip of the nose. So that starts them off on getting some proportions. And then you can see it says the top of the ears, so right there, are in line with the top of the eye. So you see they've drawn the eyes in under the eyebrows. And then you put the ear and the top of the ear is aligned with the eye. So that's how that looks. And then you can see you're drawing the eyes um, are here and then the space between them comes down and that's where you form the nostrils of the nose. And then you can see the lips come across here, right in there. So you can see these proportions now. Then you come down. Oh, and it, uh, it did mention the eyes are oval shaped and the bottom of the nose is in line with the bottom of the ears. So right there's the bottom of the ears and there's the bottom of the nose. So that's the proportions. And then you can fill out the lips underneath, right? And you can add the space for the middle of the eye and then the center of the eye is added there. And then your neck comes down from here. It begins behind the ear like that. You can see that little line. So what I have people do is stop there and they can practice doing just a face for a while. Maybe it's up to you and it's up to them. You can add hair then and start filling out the face. And something I wanted to mention, I don't know the seniors that you're working with, um, uh, what demographics you have, but if you have people who have um, uh, varying skin tones, um, then there's a really wonderful company called All of Us that sells crayons that are authentic skin tones. And 
if you would be interested, I could send you a box. I have several boxes, um, but they can be purchased online pretty easily if you just Google all of us crayons. Um, and there's a company called Bella Luna Toys, B-E-L-L-A, new word, L-U-N-A, toys. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Bella Luna Toys. They have them on sale right now for 50% off. So if you wanted to order some, they're a lot cheaper right now on that website. Um, so let me know if you need any more information about that. I always recommend that people use authentic skin tones um, no matter who is in the room because our skin tones, as we know, are varied and we should make every effort to honor that. And then um, uh, if I would say the next step then is to start adding um, features like color of eyes, color of skin, color of hair. And I usually have people decide whether they want to add shoulders and maybe something like a shirt that they're wearing. But, um, and then they decide on a background that they want to use. Do they want to do a collage background? Sometimes people even just draw this face and then collage it. And that's really cool looking. Um, I've seen kids do that a lot. And I'll try to find an example. I have my grandson's done a bunch of those and they're really cool. So there's a lot of ways you can approach this, but usually people find it very satisfying to just draw the face and maybe it doesn't look exactly like them. It's kind of abstract um, or like I say, it can be collaged, but then they can put their truth telling statement down below or their, the title of their story. If you're going to do their stories with them, something that um, identifies them. So I hope this is helpful and let's keep in touch about it. I'm really enjoying working with you.